Hi guys. So I now have the original Prusa i3 Mark II, and it's all in black. Which now that I've bought, I feel like is slight blasphemy, and I kind of wish I'd have gone with the orange. But I think black would suit suit my uh, decor a bit more. Um, okay, it's a bit messy around here because I've just been doing the calibration stuff. But basically, I uh, bought the kit. <coughs> excuse me, and. I built it, it took a long time, um, I was not prepared for how long it would take. The uh, only other printer I built was a Chinese cheap i3 for like £120, you know, $150, dollars um, And for example, the whole X assembly was built, um, you just had to build the frame um, and then kind of attach that to the frame, to the heat bed, you know, it took about four or five hours, but it was in a, with a Chinese manual, so it wasn't English, so I had to figure everything out. Um, this is building everything from scratch, absolute scratch, every nut and bolt. So it definitely took a while um, and I got used to it and changed a few things, had to figure out a few things and when it came to doing the calibration, um, which as you can see down here, um, where are I? so you have, bear with me, so we have um, calibration there. So the self test, so what the self-test does is check each motor is running, so the bed goes back and forth, the x-axis goes back and forth, each one touches the end stop. At first when I did that, basically the pinder probe here was too close to the bed, and what it meant was that it said that there was a failure, so the wire, it basically came up saying motor, wire, and end stop, Z. So saying that there's a problem because the it thinks the motor moving the Y axis is being triggered then by the Z end stop. But all I did was move the Z axis up a bit so it wasn't being triggered and then that stopped that. But what had to happen was the belt that runs underneath here should be perpendicular to this bit and parallel with the rods running along here. Mine was slightly skewed so I had to do a load of adjustments. It actually took about an hour in the end but eventually got the belt straight and now the wire axis slash the bed can move straight smoothly and touch the end stop at the back that was all good then I did the main calibration and it finds all the little triggers here which the probe does all nine of them um, found that fine did all that all it was was saying the X and Y frame was slightly skewed but that's enough to figure out in the software it wasn't majorly skewed or anything so actually not too bad at all in the end um, so what I've just done is the live Z adjustment. So I've got the Prusa filament here, the nice silver colour. Run it through the extruder. It just prints off a zigzaggy type of line like that. Um, I had to adjust it down and down and down until this bit here. You can't even see it because it's close to that line. But basically you can see here it was too high. Come down to here, it's starting to stick. And here, perfect stick. I can just about feel it. Um, oh, and actually here where's my light, is the last bit here. Uh, and that is well and truly stuck on there. So this peel actually is looking good already. So I'm just gonna peel this off now. If I can grab that, there we are. So as you can see, I can brush my fingertips over it and nothing comes. All I do is leave some nice grease. So let me grab this and you can see it'll pluck it up. And that is actually taking a little bit of force to pick up, it's like peeling something off. And there we go. So what I'm going to do now is get my wipe. I've actually left my Gorilla Pod at my mum's house, so I'm going to do this one handed. But here we go, let's get this wipe out that Joseph himself supplied. Give this a quick another wipe. And get all these greasy, horrible fingerprints off. Try and get under there, not burn myself or anything. Okay. I love this because it smells clean. I'm a bit addicted to antibacterial gel, so anything that smells like that must be good. All right, so there you go, free of grease and free of germs. Okay, so now, what I actually found was quite a lot of uh, cheat codes in here, um, way more than I expected. So if I go down to, so what have we got? Um, let's have a look. What have we got? Support, statistics, calibration settings, load filament, print from SD, info screen, Quite a lot of stuff there actually. What's in settings a sec? Move access disable, live as Z 
adjust Z and so I'm 0.797 millimeters okay so quite far um, but it seems to be perfect okay so let's do print from SD and as you see I've got the a dual color some proofs of dual color I think that might be the proofs of logo I've got a PLA buddy um, not sure what that means um, but I'm kind of interested to see. Oh, it actually has the time as well. So two hours it says to print that. The PLA beer opener, um, color print, uh, 200 microns. I'm guessing that means microns. Um, I think I've seen that one as actually. I think that's got Prusa's face on it. So that's quite cool. Um, where are we? We've got the another beer opener. Uh, that's at 100 microns. We've got the Batman. So I think that might be the Batamarang. It's only 20 minutes, so I might print that one off first just to test it. We've got a, a what, an Ada Linger? Oh, I think, is that the dragon? Um, so that's six hours. I'm definitely going to do that tomorrow, I think, because it's almost midnight now. I need to go to bed. Um, 3D halves of oh, the Marvin. So we've got the Marvin. That's only one hour. Oh, that's tempting. What's the time right now? Mm, no, I've been ill. I need to get some sleep. Um, and there's the calibration G code, which I just printed to test the Z. Um, we've got a whistle. 30 minutes. Oh, that's tempting. Um, maybe we'll do that. Um, got the vase, which is five hours. Definitely have to see what that is. A triceratops skull, definitely doing that. That's only four hours. That's not bad because I actually have a uh, T Rex skull here, and that was printed on my uh, Flashforge finder there, and it's wicked ass quality. I might add. Um, well, oh, God's gone for it. Wish it could actually stay on stuff a bit longer. Um, so where were we? Uh, got the vase. The triceratops, the tree frog, so we all know that one. Um, that's a 50 microns. Wow, can't wait to see that print and see how good that is. Uh, what's this? The Prusa something, only 20 minutes. That might be the logo. A, a gear bearing, 100 microns, 5 hours. A castle, 100 microns, 17 hours. Um, wow, I <laughs> can't wait to see what one that is. Um, and that's it. Okay, so. Let's go from the beginning. I'm going to get one printing that doesn't take too long. So let's have a look. Um, beer opener was 200 microns. One hour, one less than that. The Batman thing was 20 minutes. Um, and what was the whistle again? Let's check the whistle. No, I'll tell you what, let's do the Batman then. Because we want to see how well it sticks to the bed. So I'm going to do Batman. Um, let's select that. Nope, not yet. One second. Ah, there we go. Ah, you've selected twice then, maybe. Okay, so there we go. So the bed's going to heat to 210 degrees, and the hot end's going to... Sorry, the heat bed's going to be 55 degrees. Got to be worried then. Hot end's going to be 210 degrees. Um, and we'll get this printed. So I'll just actually test how long it's going to take to heat up here. So you can see what the temperature's already at. It's at 8 minutes now. 8 minutes 20 seconds, so let's see how long it takes to heat up. Um, so what I'm going to do, <coughs> whilst that's heating, is do a video um, explaining, basically there's the manual you can go through, which is this one here, and pretty, not going to get a better manual than this with any printer. Um, and I did it online with a tablet, because you could zoom into the pictures a bit better. But what I'm going to do is make a video. I've gone through all the steps and just written down some notes about what I found whilst doing it. So I'm actually going to do a video um, and record my screen and we're going through the whole steps and just kind of highlighting some tips and things that I found that helped. Because there's a lot of things you do, then two million steps later, you realise if you wouldn't have done that, then you could have done it a different way. It wouldn't have affected this. You realise that actually something that doesn't matter then does actually matter. So when it comes to that bit there has to be in the middle of those rods now that bit there for me and a lot of people I think had the same problem is the holes aren't big enough for those rods to go through properly so I actually had to thread the rods through but that meant once both rods are going through it you can't then push it through or back um, without threading the rod so it just becomes a bit of a nightmare um, okay so that took just over a minute to heat up so that's actually not bad at all and obviously this is meant to have uh, even heating around the heat bed. So it's just finding the uh, little calibration probe bits trigger thingies here. 
almost the last one and there we are so as you see it actually does actually says calibrating there and now it says calibration done so that's going to purge the nozzle here you can see that doing that in a nice layer so hopefully this has kept the layer and it's going to do is nice let's have a look oh that looks like a nice layer to me I'm liking that bit of a thick bit where are we bit of a thick bit there oh but that's just the brim or the skirt shall I say so that's actually fine and here we are it's making some music just zoom in a little bit here let's see if we get to the nozzle oh it's making amazing music there we are it's like it's sticking pretty well so I can't remember how I'm not sure if it said how quick it was going to print this, but I am going to leave that printing. And what I'll do, I'll print a couple of other things, and I'll show the finished product in that video, and show how well it's printing. So anyway, cheers for tuning in. Um, if you're, you're liking the 3D print videos, I'll be bringing loads more now that I have this printer, and I will be printing non-stop and pissing my girlfriend off. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.